Hi, this is Dr. DeBusk. Now we are moving into Neopteran phylogeny, which means new wing. Neopterans include most orders of winged insects, specifically those that can flex their wings over their abdomens. In division Exoterragoda, we have a large group of insects that still have hemimetabolous or incomplete development, but these are not going to have an aquatic larval stage. The young resemble adults, but have externally developing wings. They undergo only a modest change between immature and adult without going through a pupal stage. The nymphs develop gradually into adults through the process of molting. In your collection, the majority of the insects must be adults. If they have wing pads and not fully developed wings, then this is an indication that they are still nymphs. Earwigs make up the order Dermaptera. They have a slender, flattened body, bead-like antennae, and are easily recognized by a pair of large pincers or cerci at the tip of the abdomen. Some are wingless, but in most, the forewings are represented by short leathery covers called tegmina, under which membranous hind wings at present fold in a unique fan-like fashion, hence the name skin wings. Earwigs are mostly nocturnal and often hide in small moist crevices during the day and are active at night, feeding on a wide variety of insects and plants with their chewing mouthparts. Many earwig species display maternal care, which is uncommon amongst insects. Female earwigs may care for their eggs and even after they have hatched as nymphs will continue to watch over offspring until their second molt. The name earwig is more popularly thought to be related to the old wives tale that earwigs burrowed into the brains of humans through the ear and laid their eggs there. Earwigs are not known to purposefully climb into ear canals, but there have been anecdotal reports of earwigs being found in the ear. You can tell that you've now entered the section of Neopterous insects. As you see, the wings are folded on top of each other over the abdomen and are not held out to the side or straight back. The fore wings are narrower than the hind wings, hardened or leathery at the base, held roof-like, overlapping the abdomen at rest. The hind wing is membranous and held folded fan-like under the forewing when at rest. Orthoptera comprises of grasshoppers, locusts, and crickets, as well as katydids and wettas. They have large compound eyes, hind legs adapted for jumping, and long or short antennae. They also have a tympanon or ear located in the front tibia or first abdominal segment using vibrations to locate other individuals. Their use of sound is generally crucial in courtship and most species have distinct songs. Insects in the order Phasmodia include stick insects or walking sticks. Most are elongate and resemble sticks, leaves, or grass. They are herbivorous with chewing mouthparts. They have two pairs of wings, although some species are wingless. Wings, when present, consist of short, hardened forewings, which form a protective cover over part of the larger membranous hindwings. Their antennae are filiform, either short or long. Many phasmids are parthenogenic and do not require fertilized eggs for female offspring to be produced. Eggs are dropped to the ground from the trees. Phasmid nymphs usually resemble adults but lack wings. Besides being able to camouflage into the plants, they also have defensive secretions from their thorax. They can also regenerate their legs and consist of the longest insects in the world. Mantids in the order Mantodia have triangular heads with bulging eyes supported on flexible necks. Their elongated bodies may or may not have wings but all Mentodia have raptoral forelegs that are greatly enlarged and adapted for catching and gripping prey. Their upright posture, while remaining stationary with forearms folded, has led to the common name praying mantis. The eggs are protected by hard capsules and hatch in the spring. Females sometimes practice sexual cannibalism, eating their mates after copulation. Nymphs look like small adults, but lack wings or developing wing buds. Blatodia contains cockroaches and termites. Formerly, the termites were considered a separate order, Isoptera, but genetic and molecular evidence suggests that they evolved from a common ancestor. They share a dorsovirtually flattened body with filiform antennae, cursorial or running legs, and chewing mouthparts. Both 
Termites and cockroaches engage in coprophagy, the consumption of fecal pellets. Ew. They're also attracted to warm and humid places, have themotaxis, they like tight, tight spaces, groom themselves, communicate among species, and many other behaviors. Cockroaches are considered pre-social since they tend to aggregate. Cockroaches have a shield-like plate, the pronotum, that covers its thorax and posterior region of the head. The forewings are normally leathery, while the hind wings are membranous. Female cockroaches produce an egg sac known as an oothica and can hold anywhere from 12 to 25 eggs depending upon the species. Termites are also known as white ants. They are the only hemimetabolous insect with true social behavior. These insects have a caste system that include workers, soldiers, and reproductives. The worker is the breadwinner of the family. They are nearly blind and they forage for food by building tunnels to protect themselves. The workers are charged with soldier termites protecting the colony. They have a larger head and large strong mandibles. Termite colonies consist of both males and females and the king remains with the queen in the colony. Although ants and termites may look similar to the untrained eye, termites differ in that they have a wider waist, beaded antennae compared to elbowed, and equal size wings. Thrips are in the order Physonoptera. Some thrips are common pests of plants. They are very small, slender insects with unique mouth parts. They inject their cone-like rasping sucking mouth parts into the plant and suck the juices of the buds, flowers, or fruits of the plant causing damage to these structures. Some species are predaceous and feed on mites and other thrips. Adults can be winged or wingless. The wings are thin and covered with a fringe of hairs. Thrips are hemimetabolous, but they have a pseudo-fringe wing pupil stage with a silken cocoon. This puzzles scientists and may be an instance of convergent evolution. The hemiptera or true bugs comprise of 50,000 to 80,000 species and include cicadas, aphids, plant hoppers, leaf hoppers, and shield bugs. They all have piercing sucking mouth parts. The name true bugs is sometimes limited to the order heteroptera. Many insects commonly known as bugs belong to other orders. For example, the love bug is a fly, while the ladybug is a beetle. If it is a true bug, the word bug will be separate, as in stink bug. Most hermetrans feed on plants, using their piercing sucking mouth parts to extract plant sap, although some are parasitic or predators, feeding on other insects or small invertebrates. Many are important agricultural pests, damaging crops by the direct action of sucking sap or indirectly by being vectors of serious viral diseases. Many have anti-predator defenses by producing toxic fluids. Hemiptran means half wings, and they have a hemilytra where the forewings are hardened near the base and membranous at the ends. They can often be identified from other orders by their triangular scutellum over their thorax. These hemipterans were formerly classified in order Hemoptera, but are now in the suborders of Echinorhynchia and Sturrynchia. Hemopterans differ from hemipterans by the uniformity of their wings and the origin of their piercing sucking mouth parts. Hemopterans forewings have a uniform texture unlike the half wings of the, their hemipteran brothers and the wing spittle bug hemopterans hold their wings in a tent shape over their bodies. Also, the proboscis, or beak, is on the underside of the head capsule. The proboscis is smaller in hemopterans, and they use this beak to suck out juices from vascular plants. The digestive system of most hemopterans have a filtering system. This allows the insect to ingest large amounts of sap and then excrete the excess water and sugars. Ants appreciate this meal of honeydew and provide protection to the insects in exchange for this sweet meal. This concludes the section on hemimetabolous insects. In the next section, I will go over insects with complete metamorphosis.